Jennifer Metcalf has reportedly dumped her toy boy boyfriend after discovering his Lothario reputation. The Hollyoaks actress, 38, is said to have ended things with 22-year-old Liverpudlian hunk Joshua Cox after a whirlwind romance. Pals close to Jennifer say they remain on good terms and she hasn't been left too heartbroken from the split. Jen ended things with Josh and they're just going to stay friends, a source told The Sun. They had great fun while it lasted but Josh has a bit of a reputation as a Lothario and Jen didn't want to be caught up in that. They added, it was never really serious with Josh so it's not exactly as if this is a major heartbreak for her. Mirror Online has contacted Jennifer's representatives for comment. Jennifer and Joshua were seen smooching on a night out in Manchester in August over the bank holiday. A source told the paper at the time, it's early days but Jen is really happy. She's keen to take things slow but at the same time feels like her and Josh have something special. They haven't put a label on what they are and are just seeing where things go. Josh first hit the headlines when he had a fling with Amy Kilner, who was on a break from Manchester City player Kyle Walker at the time. In September 2020, the publication claimed Annie broke down in tears to Kyle after she confessed to a whirlwind romance with Josh, four months before rekindling her romance with the footballer. She is said to have insisted she and Joshua only got friendly after she and Kyle, 32, split in February. Before meeting Joshua, Jen was dating Oldham Athletics Chris Eagles. She also shares a son with ex-partner Greg Lake, and the couple have a good relationship as they co-parent. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. Jennifer, who plays Mercedes McQueen in Hollyoaks, welcomed Daycole McClake into the world in June 2017. Speaking about the split, Jen previously said, We made a decision from the start that we wanted this to be good for Day. There was no bad energy, at the end, and I don't even like using the phrase split up. Well never be split, we're a family and always will be. Obviously it's had its ups and downs but I think when you have two good people who want to do the best for their child, Terry's no reason for it not to be just that. I'm really proud of how we both parent and put Day's interests first, 